In this video, I'm going to show you how to pair VRA and VRO so you can take advantage of subscriptions. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Watchers from Bavork. If this is your first time here and you want to learn about automating, programming, and monitoring in VMware environments, you're in the right place. Start now by subscribing and click the bell so that you don't miss a thing. You'll recall in the last video that I told you that vRealize Automation communicates with vRealize Orchestrator in order to perform all of the automation of those tasks. In order to enable vRealize Automation to talk to vRealize Orchestrator, you need to pair the two of them together by creating what VRA calls an integration. So let's go over to the integration, excuse me, the infrastructure tab. And down on the bottom under connections, there's a section labeled integrations. This section is where you go in order to configure vRealize Automation to be able to talk to various systems it needs to talk to. For instance, in the previous video, I showed you downloading a blueprint from the marketplace. In order to do that, I first had to have an integration with VMware's system called um, my.vmware.com. That's what this integration is for. The second integration that you see here is obviously from its title has something to do with orchestrator. What this integration does is it enables vRealize Automation to talk to vRealize Orchestrator. And in the case of my particular lab here, you'll notice that my Orchestrator server is built into, it's embedded into the VRA virtual appliance. Now we can run the Orchestrator server separately, but in this particular lab environment, we're running VRA and VRO co-located in the same machine. Now, if I wanted to add additional integrations, I could do so by going to the Add Integration button. And as you can see, there are lots of different things that VRA can integrate with. But what we're going to do is, let me go back to Integrations. Uh, since I already have this integration to VRO, let's just open it up and take a look at how it's configured. So as you can see in each of these integrations, the, the questions that you get asked when you create an integration basically boil down to give me the answers we need to know how to talk to that type of system. For instance, if we want to talk to an orchestrator server, we need you to supply the URL that can be used to connect to that orchestrator server along with the credentials and other such information. So once I have provided that URL and the credentials, uh, as I added the integration, I would next click the validate button to make certain that the connection is succeeding. And if that succeeded, I would then give a name for this integration, a description if I want to, and so forth. But as you can see, this integration to the embedded VRO server has already been set up. So why am I here? Well, I wanted to show you these integrations because to do subscriptions, you have to set up an integration with vRealize Orchestrator. And now you know where to go to do that. But Crucially, I came into this integration section because I want you to see this message here, this status message. Notice that the message says that data collection has occurred, in this case, two minutes ago. vRealize Automation connects to our orchestrator server once every 10 minutes. It does so to discover information such as what new orchestrator workflows have been added to the orchestrator server. Again, every 10 minutes, vRealize Automation is going to go out and discover that information. Now, the reason why that matters for us when setting up subscriptions is later on, when I show you how to create the orchestrator workflow that's going to get called, you're going to need to make certain that you wait for that next 10 minute interval to occur so that the new workflow that you're adding will be picked up by vRealize Automation. Again, um, I've already got this integration set up, and so um, if we were to go create an orchestrator workflow and wait up to 10 minutes, then VRA will automatically pick up that new orchestrator workflow. So that's what I wanted to show you in this particular video. Again, just in summary, in order to do vRealize Automation event subscriptions, you must first pair your VRA server with your VRO server. Join me in the next video where I'll introduce VRA event topics.